cropping a normal square or rectangular file or any other shape into a circular shape in Photoshop. Hi, I'm CJ with Electric Eye Network. Here we go. Open the file you want. I'm using this camera logo, but I think it'll look cool as a circle. Now this is a single layer in a Photoshop project. I'll then go to the Marquee tool, change this to the circular or elliptical Marquee tool. Starting out, I used to have problems making the circle a certain size and then like, whoa, why is it moving way over there? Of course, you can move it later, but then when you, you can't resize it, it starts over. So trying to get it the right size is very difficult. So what you want to do is start at the corner of the shape you want the circle to be the size of and go to the opposite corner, and that gives you a circle that size. And then there are numbers here representing width and height that will change as you move. And if you get those to be exactly the same matching, then you have a perfect circle. I'll just wing it and get it close. And then you can move this over afterwards. And that kind of centers it too. Now all you want to do is go down to layer masks, click that, and it makes a mask. So it just masked it out. You're done basically. But if I wanted to I go to blending options, and if I'm going to put this over something, it would look nice to have a border. So go to stroke, and here's the color if you want to change it, but I'll, I'll say black is good. And then it made a border. I can change the size of it, but let's make it about the size of the outline and the logo. Say OK. Now I can just export it as, and then set it to PNG if it doesn't come up as PNG already, because you want the layers. See how that popped back up with that checkered pattern? That's transparency. That means this is a layer, and I'm keeping that as a layer. If you do JPEG, it's going to export with a white square behind it, and it's going to be one layer. So export, camera logo, circle. And that went to my desktop. That's done. I'm going to hide Photoshop and just show you what it is. So let's go into Premiere. And then here is our camera logo circle. I'm just going to pull it into my timeline. And I can just go ahead and stretch that out to show you what it looks like. And there it is. I can do whatever I want with that logo now as a circle. I can go ahead and make it bigger, smaller, move it around and then see what it looks like over things. What if I wanted it down in the corner here? What if I wanted to just have a bug there? Or what if I wanted it full to like start the show and then maybe wanted to have a blurred background, wanted to have it zoom out, you know, whatever I want to do to animate it. But yeah, that is now a circle. And you know, it's a good way to have right by a lower third here where the words come out here and you have this logo here, the company's logo or whatever whatever. It's just a great way to make something look graphical without doing much to it. And of course, you can do whatever you want to it, spin it, rotate it, do an effect, a transition effect coming in or whatever. And there it is. We have our circular image cropped in Photoshop and brought into Premiere to demonstrate how we can now put it over any stills or video that we'd like.